Welcome back to day three of the Circular Chess Championship Open Qualifiers. Once again, I'm going to be showing the entire final match, but first, let's look at the bracket. Ignoring disqualifications, we had 12 participants. Our first finalist, 5th seed Tech VNV, took down 12th seed Halo War, 4th seed Joe Ocean, and 8th seed Yuzuki. Our second finalist, 2nd seed Maddie Zero, took down 18th seed Nublivious, 7th seed Ivan the Cool, and 3rd seed Oreo Phallus. The winner gets a $20 Steam gift card and automatic qualification to the upcoming 8-person championship tournament. So without further ado, let's get into our finals match, Tech VNV versus Maddie Zero. So for game one, Matty Zero has the white pieces, and also by the way, I do know the results for the games, but I actually haven't seen them before, so we'll all be finding out exactly how the games went at the same time. Both players start by pushing their king's pawns, followed immediately by their queen's pawns, and now Matty brings out his queen, which I haven't seen this move before, I'm not sure exactly what it accomplishes, and we have seen this move before, now Tech going for the uh, the queen's pawn push right away. Ah, okay, okay. So Matty's definitely been studying, or maybe he found this out during his previous games, but this actually attacks the pawn and also delivers check. So Black's only options are to block, or well, I guess you could block here, whatever. Yeah, interesting, okay. And Tech chooses to block with the Dark Square Bishop, probably the best move apart from maybe a queen trade. Now Maddie pushes his Rook's Pawn. This is definitely, it's definitely good to push these, like the Queen and Rook's Pawns, and then of course the King's Pawn just to get the Queen and Bishop into the game. So Tech immediately moves his Knight out, of course probably going for a castle. He could also attack the Queen, in a couple, er, in just one more move. Maddie just keeps pushing his rook spawn and tech castles. Maddie goes for another pawn push, and now tech attacks the queen, but of course is cuts off the defense of the pawn, so tech loses another pawn. He attacks the queen, and Maddie just retreats. This also attacks the knight, but it's defended. Tech goes for a sacrifice, which we've seen before. Of course, there's not a whole lot that could be done to stop this pawn. Um, if this knight wasn't here, but then again, there's nothing defending this square anyways. So yeah, probably probably a good sacrifice. This does attack the knight though, and nothing's defending it quite yet, although although the, the rook and queen can get to the central ring very easily. Of course, the rook moves, and tech starts to push its knight. It looks like Maddie didn't see that the knight was defended, so he blunders the exchange. See, these diagonals really get you. He did not blunder the exchange because Maddie's queen was defending. So this was actually a, just a slightly bad trade, at least in standard chess terms to exchange a rook for two minor pieces. But, of course, the rooks are a lot stronger in, in circular chess, so maybe that's worth it. Tech now pushes a pawn, defended by a rook. Again, very strong in general. Maddie starts to push his king's pawn, and Tech pushes again. Now Maddie attacks with his knight. This doesn't matter quite yet, as Tech can just push again. But, of course, Maddie will have another opportunity, but he just keeps pushing. Now Tech pushes again, and we could easily see the same sacrifice, because, again, knights are pretty weak in this game mode, and a pawn on the second to last rank is practically a rook at this point. Of course, the sacrifice does happen. Tech takes back with his rook, and now Maddie tries to push another pawn. Tech's queen comes in. This puts a little bit of pressure on this pawn, but of course the rook. This pawn is hanging. Let's see if Matt, Maddie sees it. He does. He defends it with the queen. Also puts a bit of extra defense on this pawn. Now Tech brings in another attacker. Maddie could easily defend this with a pawn or a bishop move, but he chooses to attack the rook, which of course leaves the pawn with only one defender to Tech's two attackers. Oh, and this also, wow, I didn't see this. This also pins... Maddie's queen, and so that appears to just be a blundered queen. Of course, he gets the rook out of it at least. Wow. And now, see that this isn't quite as much of a problem. He could defend with the pawn, but now Maddie's bishop is pinned as well. Of course, the pawn moves happens. Now this pawn's coming under pressure. Maddie defends with his... Ooh, okay, I like this move. Maddie defends with his knight and breaks the pin, so the bishop's free to move. Tech brings his rook into the game. I could see this leading to maybe some back rank problems later, but I guess we'll see. Maddie tries to push another pawn. Again, he is under a lot of pressure here. This Queen and Bishop are doing quite a bit of work to keep these pieces kind of tied down, but he's not under any immediate threat. The Rook comes in, this attacks the Knight. The Bishop could defend. That's not what happens. Maddie goes for the push. Interestingly, the Knight doesn't fall. Tech instead decides to attack the Bishop, which is fine, because now both the Knight and the Bishop are under attack. Maddie defends with the Pawn. This does remove the defense of this Bishop, but it's not pinned anymore. Okay, so now the Knight falls. Or, I suppose on... That uh, can't quite happen, but if the bishop can get to the square defended, it would be a double attack. And so Maddie pushes a pawn instead. This attacks the queen, but with two defenders on the central ring. I don't know if Maddie will be able to promote attack blocks. Maddie keeps pushing another pawn. Now the rook comes off the central ring, putting an extra attacker on this pawn. Now Maddie could easily just keep pushing and bring back the extra defense. Yep, that's what happens. Rook takes the pawn, so we have two attackers, two defenders. And so the exchange ends up just being a rook for pawn. Now another pawn gets pushed. And so now 
tech takes advantage of this hanging pawn. Actually, it's not hanging. Although, okay, I see the tactics here, maybe. So, okay, yeah, wow, that's a good tactic. See, these, these players are a lot better than me. So, tech takes this pawn, which forces this knight to take back, which breaks the defense of this pawn, and the queen can come in, take the pawn, deliver check, and take this now hanging bishop. Now, let's see if that's how it plays out. Not quite. Now he decides instead not to take the bishop, instead attacking the queen. So now tech can no longer take advantage of this diagonal and completely tears apart the tactic that I just laid out. Now it's interesting here is that maybe he could have swung over, let's see, to this diagonal, so this square, although there are a couple blocking opportunities here. At least he doesn't lose you the bishop. But anyways, tech goes for this move. Now attacking the rook, although it's defended by this bishop. So now the bishop falls and tech just starts pushing. Maddie keeps pushing. Now tech finds this move, double attack on these two bishops, although this one's defended. Oh, and it actually also skewers this knight, so it is still a double attack. Maddie defense with this knight. These pieces are quite well locked down, although maybe tech could tear it apart. I'm not sure. He keeps pushing. Maddie goes ahead and promotes. Tech keeps pushing. But now the huge advantage that Maddie has is domination over the central ring. These rooks can easily defend each other at some point. And tech only has one piece that can move along the ranks. Now tech, not sure if that's a misclick, but he blunders a queen. Unfortunate. But anyways, he keeps trying to push his pawn. That blunders the pawn. Maybe he's under time pressure, but he still has a minute 42 on the clock. Anyways, now tech attacks this rook. He simply moves out of the way. Although now this square, potentially vulnerable to a fork in a couple moves. It's now what happens. I can say just pushes a pawn. Because, yeah, okay, so because this would have been checkmate, Maddie brings his bishop in, delivering check, and now attacking the square, so the king can no longer escape. And this is actually forced mate, I believe. Yeah, looks like it. He's forced to go to this square, and now either of these moves, I believe, would be checkmate. And yep, that's the last move of the game. So Maddie Zero takes the game with white, making the match score 1-0, and bringing us to game two. Okay, so now in game two, Tech gets to play with the white pieces. Again, we see the king's pawn push from both players. Now tech keeps pushing the king's pawn. Usually we would see the queen's pawn come out next. That's what Maddie does. Now we see the queen's pawn, which now means that he's no longer vulnerable to this tactic that Maddie pulled last game. Excuse me, on would be this pawn if it was here. Now we see Maddie push the queen's pawn. Tech keeps pushing his king's pawn. Now we see Maddie's queen coming out, attacking this knight, although it's defended. And he is putting pressure on this square. Um, we have seen a couple of scholars mates, so perhaps that's what he's going for. Getting the queen out early is also quite strong, since it's a lot harder to trap the queen, especially in the center of the board. Tech keeps pushing, and actually this, the queen move was attacking this pawn. Although now, I think he runs into the same problem. I believe all Maddie's going to do is just move here anyways, and fork the king and the pawn. That's not what happens, although I believe... Okay, no, never mind. Um, Black with the queen would have stopped that from happening. So Maddie moves his knight. He'll likely be willing to sacrifice, just like last game. Tech moves his knight out of the way, now attacking the queen. And Maddie moves to safety, still attacking the knight. But I believe... So this does attack the pawn, but I believe it can just promote. That's not what happens. Oh no, he couldn't promote, obviously, because the, the knight is defending. So he maintains the defense of his knight. And now this pawn hangs. It's no longer defended. Maddie instead takes this one with check. Tech blocks with the bishop. Now Maddie finds another check. So it's looking not too great for Tech, but he blocks with the knight. Now Maddie brings in his own knight. This bishop's no longer pinned, but there are plenty of options. Uh, now this pawn's hanging because the pin would return, and there's not a ton that Tech could do after that, I don't believe. Tech sees it, he defends the pawn, and now Maddie brings his knight out, probably looking to castle, or at least defending this pawn, although I don't believe... Okay, no, it actually is being attacked. Now Tech brings his knight out, this breaks the potential pin, and will allow him to castle if he wants to. Maddie does take this pawn, but of course the pin's broken now, so I don't think there's much to be done. But of course, wow, of course the queen also defends. This now also puts pressure on this knight, although of course it's defended. Okay, so Maddie pushes his rook spawn and tech castles. Maddie keeps pushing. Now tech finds a double attack on the pawn and bishop. So Maddie pushes another pawn. Looks like that pawn was hanging. And now Maddie defends his knight with his bishop to allow a discovered attack, although these squares are both blocked. Okay, now Tech brings his bishop to the center. This now attacks this pawn, although it's defended by the knight still. So Mandy defends the pawn. Now Tech brings his queen in. This attacks the rook. Doesn't look like... Well, he could still move here. 
He's defended by the knight. But this will, it looks like this would at least allow him to... Oh no, there's nowhere you can even check. And it doesn't win the pawn, because if the rook moves up, it defends the pawn. That's what happens. So now Tech's forced to retreat to the center. Matty keeps pushing. Now Tech brings his bishop back. This attacks the queen, which is defended by the knight. The knight's defended by this bishop. So now, looks like Matty goes for a queen trade. Tech doesn't take the queen, but instead attacks with the bishop, still allowing for the queen trade. And that's what happens. Now Matty keeps pushing. This attacks the knight, which I don't believe there's a good way to defend. Of course, this bishop could move here, but it could be taken by the knight right away. So Tech instead attacks this rook. So Matty moves back. Now Tech has the same problem again, but he keeps attacking the rook. Matty moves it back to safety. And now the knight moves here, which at least doesn't blunder a knight and promotion. Now at least promotion can happen, and it can be a knight for rook trade, or I suppose a knight for pawn trade at the end of the day. Instead of promoting, Matty finds this double attack. Tech gets out of it by capturing this knight. Matty captures back, and now Tech attacks the rook again. Matty just moves out of the way. Now Tech tries to bring his own rook in. This does allow promotion, I believe. Yep, that's what happens. Tech brings his bishop off of the central ring. Of course, it is attacked by the rook now. Now Matty pushes a pawn, attacking the knight. Knight moves out of the way. Another pawn pushes. Now Tech swings his bishop to this square. This would, if Matty doesn't see it, this would blunder a rook. Matty does see it. Stops him from moving there. But Tech still finds a way to put the rook under pressure. This would force the rook up here. That's what happens. Now Tech brings his knight further towards the center, perhaps looking for some kind of attack. I don't really see much of anything. He only has 55 seconds left on the clock, and Matty still has a little over three minutes, so he's definitely doing a lot better on time than Tech. Okay, so now Matty brings his knight out to attack this knight, likely to free up this pawn to move and this rook to do whatever it wants. Tech doesn't go for the trade. Matty keeps pushing. Now with 43 seconds left, Tech brings his rook to the center. I don't believe it's defended by anything, but anyways, instead of capturing, Matty promotes, so Tech ends up losing a rook for a pawn. Tech gets ready to bring another rook to the center. Matty keeps pushing, and Tech drops to 26 seconds as he moves his knight to attack this pawn. It is attacked twice. Matty just keeps pushing. Now Tech moves his knight again, of course defended by the knight. Matty pushes. This knight was hanging. There's actually a fork on two pawns, so Tech wins one. King comes in to attack this knight, but... Oh, wow, okay. This was actually a fork on two pawns, which led to fork on the king and rook. So Tech wins a rook, actually. He is still down two rooks to one, but he's also up a minor piece and up two pawns. So he has two pawns and a minor piece for a rook. Actually not too bad, but of course 15 seconds left on the clock is not a whole lot to work with. Oh, and a knight falls. So now, so now even on minor pieces, Tech finds this check, which it appears to win a pawn, but it's defended by this bishop. Let's see if Tech sees it. He does. Now moving his knight further into the game. He has to find something very soon with just 12 seconds on the clock. Matty moves his king again to attack the knight. Tech actually defends his knight with his rook. Excuse me, going this way. Matty attacks with his own rook. Tech with nine seconds on the clock now takes the rook trade. So now Matty is up just a full rook, one, one rook to zero. But Tech takes a pawn back for it at least. Matty keeps pushing. Tech blocks. Matty attacks the knight. And Tech brings his bishop to attack this pawn. Knight falls, pawn falls. Now the rook comes in. This would be a back rank mate if Tech doesn't see it. It looks like he doesn't. And once again, with a rook checkmate, Matty Zero wins with black and takes the match two to zero. Congratulations, that makes Matt the third automatic qualifier, making him the third seed going into the championship tournament. And of course, here are the updated point standings. Tomorrow's video will be the last day of qualifiers where all eight of the top eight will be officially determined. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.